Okay, let's get this show on the road or on the camera. <coughs> I'm okay. Hi, I hope that you're doing greatly good. Today's video is my March TBR. I think I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this month. I'm just testing things, just trying things out. I'm new to giving myself a TBR list. I usually just kind of mood read, pick up whatever sounds good next. I think I liked the structure that a TBR list gave me, but I'm also sometimes a rule follower to a fault. And so I was feeling not super excited about the books on my TBR list, but then I felt like I had no choice. And I felt like if I picked something else up, I was like failing my TBR list. And I know that's not how it works. There's literally nothing holding me back from picking up something else. <laughs> But I'm just a rule follower, so it felt wrong to pick up something that I hadn't put in my February TBR video. As I'm saying that out loud, I've realized how dumb it sounds. So I thought I would do a bigger list for March, a bigger TBR. Knowing that I won't get to all of these, but at least having more on my TBR list gives me the flexibility to choose different things, but it makes me feel like I'm still accomplishing my TBR. So first of all, as of the day that I'm filming this, which is still the end of February, I have not not finished three books from my February TBR. I think continuing and finishing these in March is very doable and would also make me feel like I didn't just abandon books that I chose in February. So the three that I didn't get to in February are The Parable of the Sower, The Blade Itself, and Hellbent. I'm just kind of tired of looking at this scary rabbit, so I would like to read this and be, move on with my with my life. These three are carryovers. I'm not gonna get down on myself about February. It was it was just one of those months. I'm feeling much more disciplined and motivated moving into March. Something I have wanted to get to this year is a reread of Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, so that I can read The Glass Hotel and Sea of Tranquility for the first time. I've only read Station Eleven, but I absolutely loved it. It's on my all-time favorite books list, and I have the other two. So I've wanted to do kind of an Emily St. John Mandel marathon fun time and read all three of these. So let's add these to my March pile. Yes, let's add these. The next one I want to add is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I have read The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, but I've never read East of Eden. This one does seem like the more popular, more beloved. Is it beloved or beloved? So yeah, I'm super excited to get to this. Frank read this last year or in 2021 and he really liked it. So I'm excited to get to this. It's been a long time since I've read Steinbeck, so that's exciting. So we'll add this to the pile. If I don't get to this in March, it'll definitely be added to subsequent months because I know I want to read this this year. The next thing I'm gonna add to my TBR is starting one or both or neither. <laughs> Uh, I need to have more confidence in myself. More confidence. I can read. I can do it. I can do it. I want to start one of the kind of like classic foundational fantasy series of the ones that I own. So I either want to jump into Game of Thrones. I definitely want to jump into this this year. And ow, I hit the sensitive part of my skull. Is it just me or does everybody have like sensitive portions of their skull? I asked Frank the other day and he was like, no, I don't have those at all. I think you have a brain tumor. And I was like, oh, really? Because I feel like some people, like babies have a soft spot on their skull, you know? And I just have kind of these like, and they're symmetrical too. So it's not like a random, like it's like here and here. Okay, whatever, sorry. <laughs> Game of Thrones, yes or and or Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings movies are probably my favorite movies ever of all time. And I tried to read The Lord of the Rings in the fourth grade and severely failed. I tried so hard. I had it on my desk like the whole entire school year and I probably made it through like 40 pages, if that. So yeah, I'm gonna add 
these two to my pile. I'm craving just some good fantasy. Way of Kings, I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. It's been a little up and down for me. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it did redeem itself in the last couple of hundred pages. Before then, I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna hate this? Am I gonna give it like two or three stars? It got better, don't worry. I'll talk more about that. But I think these could be better than Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> So I want to add these. The next thing I want to add for March is Endemion. I really need to get this sticker off. I cannot get it off. Oh, <gasps> I got it. I did it. So much better. Okay, there we go. This is the third book in the Hyperion Cantos. I read book two in January, which feels like forever ago. I wanted to just keep the momentum going and not wait too long to get to the next one. So this is gonna be on my list. It actually takes place several hundred years after the events of book two. So that's very interesting. Super excited to get to this. I think this is gonna be a good book, so I'm excited for that. Also, fun fact, Dan Simmons lives in Colorado. That's cool. Maybe I'll run into him at the grocery store someday. Okay. Okay. A couple other things that I want to add to my March TBR. I would like to add tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. My older sister is actually reading this right now and she is liking it. So that made me excited and kind of wanted to bump it up on my TBR a bit and not wait too long to read it because I'd like to know what happens so she and I can chat about it. And I also just really want to know if it lives up to the hype that it was receiving the last like six months. So I've got this added. If you're not familiar with this one, it is like two friends. They become creative partners and build and create video games together. And it's kind of just the story of their friendship. I don't know if it ends up being like a friends to lovers or if they just stay friends, but yes, that's kind of the premise that I know about this one. It is under 400 pages and also because it's like contemporary fiction hopefully it's pretty easy to kind of fly through so that is on my list as well i'm also going to add a book that i'm kind of nervous about but it is a frank recommendation i think this book is very polarizing people either love it or hate it so i'm curious what i'm going to think of it but it's cloud atlas i started this a few months ago and only got like 20 pages in i do have a really bad habit of doing that with books but i'm feeling antsy to pick it up again because it was intriguing and also just because Frank really wants me to read it so we can chat about it. I don't know much about the premise except that there are lots of intertwining plot lines that sweep forward in time and then I think actually like go backwards again. So you see the stories that you have been following. I think you see them twice through, I think. I could be totally wrong about that, but I think that's how the format is. And there's a lot of different like writing styles, locations, different kinds. Sorry, I thought I just saw a wasp outside and I was like, no buddy, it is too early for you. I'm not ready to do battle with you. You stay asleep, flee, it wasn't wasp one of my biggest fears and i really need to get over that one anyways so i'm adding this to my tbr i feel like that's a pretty good pile i just have one final one which it's funny that i left this till the end because it's actually the top priority for march like i know for sure that i'm gonna read this one you may already know what it is if you watched my most intimidating books video but that is middle march by george Eliot. i wanted to read this in march because i am funny like that almost said stupid but i'm silly i'm silly like that and i wanted to read this in march so i feel like i just talked about this for that video but this is like chronicling a town in england a fictional town throughout the years of like what's kind of the time frame it is 19th century and you follow a lot of different characters in this town and it just follows kind of the evolution of the physical town the social norms and just tons of different characters in their lives i am really excited for this like i said in that other video i think this is definitely potentially a five star like all-time favorite book for me 
So I'm super excited to get to this. I just want to really dive into this, take my time absorbing it, and yeah, literature. Love it. I feel like if I try to lift up this pile, it's going to fall, but let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so this is my list for March. I am excited about it. Like I said, I'm feeling much more hopeful that March is gonna be a very excellent reading month, much better than February. So I would absolutely love to know what is on your list for March and let me know if any of these strike your fancy or if you've read any of them and you have opinions and feedback on them. I'd love to know, except if you hated them. Maybe don't tell me that because that'll bum me out. But <laughs> if you loved them or if you thought they were very interesting, let me know. I love to get feedback on the books on my list. And yeah, let me know what you're reading this month. I would also love to know that. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I will see you later.